Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a holster for a prop from the popular game Persona. I started off by printing out a size accurate picture of the prop to use as a template, and carefully cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Once it was cut out, I traced the shape of the holster around it, using reference images to help make it accurate to the in-game model. I then added extra width on the side of the pattern to account for the width of the prop that would be sitting in it, and then I added the back side as well. Once that was cut out, I did the same thing for the strap that would hold the prop in place. I folded a few sections on the pattern and taped up the edge that will be sewn together to get a better idea of what the finished shape would look like. Once I was happy with the shape, I began to trace the pattern onto white pleather. I started with the outline, then added a seam allowance and extra cutting lines in the corners just to help with the fit while sewing. I then repeated the process for the strap as well. Now I can cut out the pieces. I cut out around both parts so it would be easier to work with on the table. I then use my rotary cutter to cut the individual pieces nice and clean. Thank you. 
Once everything was cut out, I took it to my sewing machine. The foot that I'm using today is called a roller foot. When working with pleather, it tends to stick to the machine or foot. The rollers on this one allow the fabric to move through the machine without trouble. You can also use a walking foot, which allows the fabric to be pulled not only from the bottom feed dogs, but the top as well. I took the seam allowance that I left on the edges and folded them inward, so toward the wrong side of the fabric. I then stitched it all the way around the piece. The same was done for the strap. This is what the edge stitching looked like when it was done. On the back side of the strap, I decided to hand stitch the extra fabric together just so it doesn't pucker up when you fold it. It also made it look nice and clean. On the main part of the holster, there are little circle designs on each side. To do these, I traced the circle on each side and using a free motion foot designed for embroidery, I satin stitched along the markings. Ooh, just look at that HD 4K perfectly lit shot right there. Just kidding, I actually didn't realize the light on my machine that was that bright, so I apologize if you can't really see the stitch here. Here's a close-up of the detail so you can actually see it. Time for the snaps! I had a bit of trouble putting these on because I don't have the proper tools for the ones that I was using, but I managed to make it work and I'm actually really happy with the result. To close up the sides of the holster, I top stitched along the existing line of stitches, following the reference to see how far up each side I needed to go. Then all that was left to do was to attach it to the main belt by hand stitching the back to the belt itself. And there's the finished product. I decided to split the video into two parts since I did have a lot of extra footage to get through. So keep an eye out for part two where I make the belt itself. I hope you guys liked this video and if you'd like to see more then don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when part two is up. Bye guys!